welcome to the video. So I have my boyfriend Brian here. I'll put his channel below, but this is our Arctic Zero review. Thank you, Arctic Zero, for sending us all these flavors to try. So, are you excited? Yeah, and these are their new flavors. Um, so they redid all their ice creams, and we are going to test them out and give us your, or we'll give you, <laughs> our honest review. Yes, so if you guys tried Arctic Zero in the past, this is not those ice creams. It's a brand new line from them. It has like actual sugar, actual cream, like it actually is supposed to taste like ice cream because old Arctic Zero kind of just tasted like ice mixed with some whey protein. So these are their new flavors. This one is cookie and brownie dough. Not gonna lie guys, Brian and I kind of already ate some of these. These might have gone. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm so good. That's amazing. I'm gonna have to have another bite. <laughs> and one more. The cook I wish. The only thing I'll say about this one is I do wish that there was more cookie dough in it. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you wish that there was more cookie dough in it. But yeah, I wish there was more cookie and brownie in it, but. I'd give it a solid nine and a half. You have to explain to them your scale. Oh, so there's no such a thing as a 10. 10 doesn't exist. And we don't grade things with sevens because sevens are neutral, means you don't actually care. And I, my scale is a little bit different. I do believe in tens, but it's gotta be like, if that had a ton of cookie dough and You're brownies. next to one. <laughs> if that had a ton of cookies and brownies in it, I would definitely give it a 10, but because it doesn't, I'm gonna give it a nine. I can, so you're pick next. So Toffee Crunch next. This one, you can see like all the toffee inside. And there's actually some like crunchies and stuff in here. Oh, I'm gonna eat it? You're gonna eat it too. Oh, okay, I thought you were, I thought you were. We have to cheers every bite. Mm. That one's really good. It kind of just tastes like caramel. Caramel or caramel, guys? Which of the above? Are you team caramel or team caramel? That one's so good though. Also has little bits of toffee in it, so it's really good. I think for flavor and texture, I feel like it's a nine, but I don't think it's not like my favorite flavor of all time, but it is really good for what it is. Yeah, I would give it a, for what it is, it's a nine. For my preference, it's a six and a half. Fair. Cookies and cream. This one, I feel is my favorite, so. That is easily the best one. It's so sweet and there's so many chunks of cookie, like, it almost tastes like it tastes a like soft a, Oreo. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I can already have dipped in the Yeah, it's like, it's like Oreo crunch. And I think that cookies and cream is always misdone in like the fitness or like supplement industry. You're like saying? it always just tastes like, well it doesn't ever taste like Oreo. Like it always just tastes kind of like vanilla with some chocolate. Kind Nine of. and a half. I would, half but across the board. And it, since I allow tens, this one's a ten for me. It tastes just like uh, like Briars. Yeah. Yeah. This one is peanut butter and chocolate cookies. You can't go wrong. So the greatest thing about this is that it has big chunks in it. That's like all of them. Like holy, I'd show this too. Oh, is that for me? Yeah. Oh, do I get the chocolate? No, I don't. You don't get this. Is mine. I don't get. I don't get your bite. This is my favorite. Cheers. Wow. See, I really like this one because it tastes so peanut buttery. Like, I kind of wish it had peanut butter like swirls in it, but it's not called it's peanut butter. It's kind of some peanut butter either. chips in it. Yeah. For flavor, I feel like this one is like a nine and a half, but for my preference, it's probably an eight. I'm not as big of a peanut butter ice cream person, but also if you if you want to go out and like melt some peanut butter in this, you'll just die. Solid eight and a half across the boards. Okay. Oh. We only have three left. I'm getting a headache. Are you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, Take I've your time, put your thumb on, thumb on the top here. I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about these though, is that they're pretty low in fiber. So I don't know if they're old, uh, 
um, recipe or... Those are supposed to be pretty high, I feel like 14. Oh yeah, so these, only, these only have three grams of fiber per scoop. And if you guys have ever had a whole pint of Arctic Zero, like the old kind to yourself, and then you were like, not in a good spot, digestion-wise, for the next couple days, that's why. So, mint chocolate chip, yeah, this one's easily, this one's really good. Mm. I don't know if it's really good. Though. It's got mint chocolate chips, and it feels like almost like it's got all the cookies. Mm -hmm. As my marketing teacher in college would say, it's the inclusion of that. <laughs> Meaning, like Ben and Jerry's ice cream have like the inclusion. So I think that's the difference between these and Halo Top. What the amount of stuff in them? Yeah. So these have like these are like more like Ben and Jerry's. Um, like kinds loaded. Of, yeah. Like loaded ice creams. Yep. Yeah. I would agree. Arctic Zero all tastes exactly like it's supposed to, like on the outside, but it doesn't have the. If you get cookie dough, it doesn't it doesn't have the big chunks of cookie dough the same way these do. Halo Top. What is it? So, oh yeah, Halo Top. So the vanilla bean has the vanilla beans in it. It's not just like a French vanilla. Not a whole. Bean. There's that, you can see like the little bits of chocolate in it. And by chocolate, I mean vanilla beans. See, I like to go around the outside, kind of like Eminem. Um, that was a dad joke. But get the, all the melty parts. Mm -hmm. When I get a vanilla bean, I'm thinking back to my childhood when my brother's favorite flavor was always vanilla bean. I'm looking for stuff like that that has like that really strong vanilla bean flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a plain, like a vanilla. It's it's very distinct, you know what I'm talking about? And this tastes like that. Yes, it absolutely does. For a vanilla bean, it tastes like a regular ice cream, I give it a 10. Yeah, I'd give it, I'd give it a 9.75. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Last. But not least. Chocolate chunk. Chocolate. Chocolate chunky. <laughs> so these. The, the, the dispute I have with these is I don't see the chocolate chunks. There are chunks in oh, there. Chunks of chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find some chunks for you guys because that's important, I feel. Oh, I got one. Mm. Yeah. I'm not a big chocolate ice cream person to preface. But this is very chocolatey. But I still think it's really good for chocolate ice creams. I would say it does taste exactly like chocolate ice cream. It almost tastes like chocolate milk at this point because it's melted so much. Touche. And chocolate milk is always a jam. The melted is the best. Not melted so that it's warm, but... Mm. What would you give it? For a chocolate ice cream, I'd give it a nine. The only way it could be better is if there were more chunks of chocolate in it. Or more chocolate chips, but I feel like it's really good taste wise. Yeah, I don't know how you can make it any more chocolatey. Yeah, but I think other than having chunks. Like but if it had chunks in it, then it would be like a brownie. Yeah, if you're a chocolate person, you'll like it. I'd say it's a nine and a half for a chocolate person. What's your order of preference? Whew. Now, cookie dough, brownie dough, um, cookies and cream. Mint chocolate chip, vanilla bean, peanut butter, chocolate cookies, chocolate chunk, and toffee. Interesting. I'm not a big toffee fan. Okay. These are going to be the Ben and Jerry's of regular low cal ice cream. cream. Whereas the other ones are just going to be for flavor. So if you want something to numb, and you don't want to lose your inclusions, uh, meaning like the actual the chunks, the chunks. chunks, you want to lose your chunks. These are for you. These are for you. So, this is the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go find some Arctic Zero. It should be, you can order it online, but you can get it in some stores now. Yeah, put, we'll, um, put the, we'll, we'll put the links and stuff below. So, thanks again. And we will see, well, I'll see you in the next video. So, if you haven't already liked this video, hit subscribe if you're new. We just are hitting a thousand, I'm gonna say, just around the time I post this video on Friday. And, and we should hit a thousand with your support. Yes, so support. We'll see you guys in the next video. If you want us to do more reviews like this, let me know. And we will, I always bring Brian along with me. I'll tell better dad jokes next time. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, bye! I'm gonna catch you. Work the camera rest.
There's no more left. That's not true. You ate it all. That's not true. That was good, Bob. <laughs>